Earlier on News Nation, Brooke Johnson, 2019's Miss Alaska, speaking about her experience with the organization. The best job ever. I had such an amazing experience and I left with such great memories. I think the biggest thing that was amazing during my year is that they focused so much on the contestants. It was very positive and we also focused on all of our platforms. We had something called UCAPS, which is Up Close and Personals. And all of us had an interview that would play during the telecast, that would play before prelims. And so fans and pageant goers were able to truly know why why the women are doing what they do because a lot of people you know have the stigma around pageantry but there are so many women that are doing such amazing things for the world for their community and i think that is the most important thing is focusing on the contestants and i felt heard i felt like i was involved and i had such an amazing experience so what's with the people saying that it's a toxic toxic environment you didn't experience that at all where do you think what, what do you think is making them feel that way? Well, I was under a different leadership. Uh, there is a different leadership now than when I was competing. And I think uh, some of the organization could definitely start by releasing the former queens from their NDAs. I think the director should appear on national news and present her side of the story. Uh, once emails, texts, and accounts are released, I think the organization should make a public apology to Noelia and Uma Sophia regarding their unfortunate experiences. I think once the organization takes accountability and is more transparent, I think that would be pushing in the right direction and also being very accommodating to mental health, especially in this day and age. Yeah, well, uh, Miss USA, Savannah Yankowicz was on News Nation recently. She's defending mm -hmm. the Miss USA organization against the allegations. I want you to hear what she has to say and respond to that. Okay. I just had fun. I believe in this organization. I believe um, everything it has given me to achieve greatness and success. And I just would love to say that these allegations are completely false. Um, the whole experience I've had has been nothing but kind and an uplifting environment. So what do you think? I think that I'm so happy that she is having an amazing experience. I also think that you know, we shouldn't speak on anybody's experiences, especially when we weren't there. And I think they should have a call to action to lift Noelia's and Uma Sophia's NDAs so that they can have their side of the story spoken out and we can truly see what is going on. Um, but I think Savannah is amazing and I definitely really want to see her doing more with Hawaii since that is, you know, what she came in uh, doing what she wanted to do with this role. Yeah, well, I'm sure some of our viewers are watching and they just love the glitz and the glamour of all of it and others are going, this feels a bit antiquated. What do you say to detractors who think it's, it's too old school and it, pro, you know, sort of promotes these sexist behaviors? Well, first of all, like I said earlier, let's talk about some of the contestants. Prelims was last night. Tonight is the Miss USA competition. Um, some of my favorites would be Virginia. She is a former Miss Teen, and she's a proud Indian American that has an initiative called STEM Empower STEM Powered Leaders to inspire the next generation of STEM leaders. Uh, Hawaii has built temporary housing and, and created care packages for children affected by the fires in Hawaii. Uh, Kansas is raising funds for breast cancer awareness. And Texas is a, a proud black and Jewish woman that has created a program calling Build It Up to mentor young women in STEM. So, yes, there's glitz and glamour. Some people don't understand it. But these women are being the change that they want to see in the world. And being a NAMI ambassador, I was able to have a platform to speak about my mental health experiences and create my program called Crowning Confidence, where I was able to speak to thousands and thousands of kids, and I still speak to to this day. And I would not be able to have that platform or have that type of outreach without my title. And so I think people really need to change the shift and think about, okay, what, what are these women actually doing? And that's why I think it's so important for us to focus on why they're actually here. It's not just about swimsuits. That is a part of the competition. But these women have voices. They're smart. They're intelligent. 
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.